I think when when I hear inefficiencies, I think often too quickly. Uh, when my first when I first see is poor people and especially people of color getting cuts. Like we are seen as inefficient, um, or uh, you know, go, or um, you know, go agencies that that deal a lot with you know, like how many more cuts can the D, how much longer can the DMV line get, right? Like so, when we talk about inefficiencies, I guess my, my first initial thought is, oh boy, here we go again. So how do you how do you? I think every every person who would come here would say, well, there's inefficiencies in government. I'm going to find them. Where where you know how do we get at this this, this sort of pool, and how do we do it in a legislature that sees some of those inefficiencies as um, things that are key to their district? Sure, and 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 I I don't when I say efficiencies, I don't mean that, Jordan. And that you and I have had that discussion, and so I don't mean that as uh, any anything other than let me give you a good example of what I think we can do to make the tax dollars we use get a better investment. So my plan for schools uh, is that we have longer school days, more structured school days, that kids need that early pre-K. That's our best investment for kids. It's our way to level the playing field. I also think that as we have a lot of agencies like DCF and, and our Department for De Developmentally Disabled, that we silo the way we use those tax dollars. And so I think that all of our schools should have in them social worker support counselors. So a third grader, for instance, who's tardy to school or late to school, there's a problem there, right? So what do we do now? We wait until the child gets far behind or maybe gets passed on to eighth grade or high school. And then when there's a serious problem, we bring in some other agency or we try and provide help. Why not provide at the earliest possible time? This is what I mean by efficiency earliest possible time a way to say this child is hungry or this child comes from a nursing home this child has learning disabilities or this child has a two parents and uh, when the parents when the other child is sick this kid has to stay home and babysit if we were able to do that earlier and allow for the services that we now pay for to come in and say this is how we're going to help this kid teachers can teach and focus on giving every child the best education that he or she can get and make sure that that child and that family get the assistance that they need through a restructured DCF, in my mind, one that has the goal of keeping families together, but also a particular division that would be entrusted with keeping kids safe. I think that mission is contradictory. And when you have people who are looking at whether a child is safe or not, you're actually going to get better outcomes about whether the child should stay in the family or the child should come out. And when we identify those problems as soon as possible, we could, with the services in the state that we have, be much better at identifying them. I, me I mentioned the mental health issue earlier. Many of you know have heard me talk about it. My own family suffered from mental health. My brother wouldn't get help uh, 18 uh, years ago uh, as a result of that. Uh, he took his own life because he wouldn't get help. He said, there's a stigma. I won't take medication. I won't get treatment. I would have done anything. My family would have done anything. I see too many families struggling in silence, alone, with mental behavioral health. You know, we could talk a lot about alcohol and drug abuse that we know are often related to mental health. It, re it relates to our issues around homelessness. So when I talk about doing better, even with the budget we spend now, I'm talking about connecting those dots. And as someone who worked as a prosecutor, now as attorney general, spent my life being an advocate for people who almost know. I can see how we could do so much better in this state, even with what we spend out. And I believe we don't spend enough. I think that the pie has to be bigger for education, for social work, and for those services. We will get better outcomes in Massachusetts, and we'll, uh, we actually will uh, be still leading the country in how we take care of our people. But the AGs that are working, they're sick of saying I live in Massachusetts, but I, I firmly believe that we're going to better.